audience for questions. It's an honor to have you here. Um, thank you. It, I want to first like thank you um, for your vision because it's touching many lives. If you don't even know, one of your quotes that I love is, "We're all meant to be different sizes at different times." So it gives like a a different perspective when going into fitness and all of those things. But the question I ask is, how are you confident with all the persecution that could possibly come to you for exposing so much of your life and from your family, your culture, and just everything? How What confidence are you firm on to even expose that? Like, just their confidence, what is that? You know, it took me a long time to get to where I'm sitting here in front of you right now. Um, I don't know, like, I don't... I had, I didn't, I was very unconfident and insecure when I was writing it. And there were so many days where I was like, who cares? Like, who's going to want to read this? Where the hell am I going with this? And, you know, there's that little voice in your head when you do anything new or creative or hard that you think, you know, this is not, I can't do this. But I just kept writing and I had the support of people around me. Um, but you know, it's an everyday struggle. So I'm pretty good at like smiling when I have to and, and being, you know, okay. But I'm going to be honest, like I did the Today Show today and I did some other um, stuff. You know, today's the first day the book came out and it's different sitting in a room and writing about this stuff than like reading about it in the internet. And I was in the car five minutes before I got out to come upstairs to see you guys. And I made the mistake of going online. And it's really difficult to see in big caps. And by the way, with a photo shoot where you have a wind machine and everything, that looks so inappropriate with the, the, the caption or the title that says, you know, Padma Lakshmi dishes about this or Padma Lakshmi reveals that. And it's an everyday struggle. I was almost in tears in the car and my assistant had to shove me back in the car for five minutes, close the door and say, you got this. And so I, I sit here before you alone, but behind me are an army of people from my mother to my aunt. You know, I really, my mother has had the grace and courage to let me tell this story as I saw fit because it's also her story. And there's a lot of personal stuff about my mother, too. And my mother is a conservative Indian woman who's 71 years old and really didn't ask for all of her business to be out in the world. But, you know, my mother read the book because I had to fact check it, too, you know. I was just too young to remember the dates on some of the stuff. And, and she said, you know what, go ahead. It's fine. We'll be okay. And, and so I'm lucky to have people around me who love me, who have confidence when I necessarily don't, and who have also forgiven me because I've also made a lot of mistakes in my life that have hurt other people. And it was important for me to take responsibility for those decisions and to own my history and not only talk about how fabulous it is for people to give me clothes and be on Top Chef, but how hard it was when the whole world, you know, from tabloids in America to India to Italy to England were writing in the most cynical way about the facts of my life without ever really going deeper. And this book is about being honest, but going deeper. It's about rising above the clickbait. Yes. I mean, really, it is, yeah. because it's so 